Hello and welcome to another edition of Late Night Obscure Mics. Late Night Obscure Mics. I don't know where I was going with that, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm here with... uh, Let me just tell you about it real quick in a separate video. All right, folks, we have the Moano Condenser Studio microphone set with us today. By us, I mean me. So I grabbed this off Amazon, roughly $65. The model number is the AUPM320S. Let's see what comes in the box, even though it shows it right on the picture on front. That's okay, though. We still want to know what comes in it. So we've got our foam windscreeny. We've got a pop filter with a Moano logo on it. Oh, that is just, that is just precious. Look how precious. Moano logo pop filter. Of good quality, I would say. Underneath of that, we have a, oh, XLR to XLR cable. Completely blacked out, murdered out sun. Not so bad. That's better than the three quarter, or the, uh, th blah, blah, blah. you know what I'm talking about, the 3.5 millimeter jack. We've got a squeezy shock mount that comes with a lot of these kits. And then, of course, we have the boom arm, which is your scissor style. And it, it's basic. It's just like uh, a lot of the others. And it looks like you also get some velcro straps to get your xlr cable in position and then of course we've got the microphone the moano condenser microphone 16 millimeter capsule pretty stylish get some more light on it bare bones no switches nothing like that xlr port on the bottom Yeah, that's that's nice. Nice looking mic. It's got some good weight to it. Now, I'm going to tell you the reason I, I decided to grab this kit in just a second. Let's go to the mics. Okay, so there's the kit, the Moano kit. I'm not going to use the boom arm that comes with that. Uh, I'm just, I've used them a ton. It, it's a basic boom arm like we've reviewed before with other microphone kits. Anytime you get a boom arm, that's a welcome addition. Welcome addition. Pop filter, welcome addition. The, the extras, very nice. Very nice kit for 65 bucks, depending on the microphone. So let me tell you why I got this microphone kit in the first place. The frequency response chart shows that this microphone is generally flat with a little bit of ripple along the way. Generally flat, not overly boosted. Doesn't look like it would be shrill. Doesn't look like it would be boomy. And for $65 for the whole kit and the style of the microphone that you just saw, it caught my eye. So, that being said, let's go ahead and jump from the SM7B, which is relatively flat, and jump over to the Muano. That model number that I just put there. Let's jump to it and see what we got. Okay, so here is the Moano condenser microphone ready to rock and roll in its squeeze mount. Flat frequency response, mostly, mostly. Now, let's go over some things about the Moano microphone. It is all metal, metal mesh grill, little grill on top, very stylish, very sleek. But when you tap it, There is some crazy, crazy noise that comes out of this when you tap it. It is very microphonic. It is very tune fork like. So you do not want to bump this thing. Do not, do not bump the actual microphone itself. But for $65, don't move the stand either because that, that, that'll make some noise as well. So far, the sound of my headphones is a lot better than a Neewer NW700 kit. Uh, a lot better, a lot better than a lot of those all-in-one kits so far. I don't mind this better than the toner kits that I've seen better than the Zing U or whatever. So far, so good on this microphone 
for $65 for everything you get. Let's throw some plosives into it. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. Let's throw on the provided foam windscreen. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled pineapple pizza. When you get right up on the Muano condenser microphone, this is what it sounds like when you get an inch off of the Muano condenser microphone. This is what it sounds like. Now, the proximity effect, I think, sounds pretty decent. Whenever I'm back off this thing a little bit, I am wanting a little bit more low end. But when you get up on this thing, you get some of that low end and it starts to shine through a little bit. Let's go ahead and do the off-axis rejection into the microphone, 90 degrees, 180 degrees. You can probably hear that. Everything I touch kind of comes through. That's, that's not great, but another 90 degree angle and back around to the front of the microphone. So this, you are going to have to be extremely careful with this microphone. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's a con, but if you boom arm this thing up and have it suspended to where you cannot hit it or touch it you're going to be okay overall thoughts on the sound of this microphone so far for 65 dollars in the kit that you get i do not dislike this microphone those kits are usually between 40 and 80 bucks sometimes more and the microphone just typically doesn't sound that great now this microphone i'm not calling it some kind of world beater but it's one of the better microphones I've heard that come in one of those kits. I just want a little more low end. So that being said, let's give it a little more low end with the Rodecaster Pro. I do also want to add that I do have the volume set on this thing at 18. 18 out of 55 is where the volume's at, getting decent levels. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of compression and a big bottom on the microphone and this is what it sounds like so i've got a little more of that low end and i've got some compression on it and it kind of pops out a little bit now i almost feel like when i say a p word p p p p p p p i'm getting a little bit of resonance in there this thing when I hit a P, I can hear the lightest bit of that P, 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 as if it, it's just, that's a little bit concerning, a little bit concerning. So maybe when we throw the foam windscreen on, we don't get that microphonic sound as much. Peter Piper picked a patch, pickle pineapple pizza, <laughs> still getting it. A little worrisome, that resonant noise that, that comes off of that metal. I can hear it when I talk. Vibrates in there a little bit. Just slightly. Everything I touch. They almost hit one out of the park for a $65 kit. But that resonance is killing me. Oh, shoot. All right, let's turn processing back off. I want to like this microphone a lot. But that ding, that ringing, that vibration that you hear, that high hum, that makes it tough. The body, Moano, work on this thing, get a different alloy, get a different metal for the body and give it another shot because you almost had it. You almost had a great $65 package here. That ruins it. That absolutely ruins it. I have to be ultra, ultra careful to not get that in my recording. Assuming it comes through the recording. It's coming through my headphones. So, Muano, you are so close at $65. So close. But this mic is going to have to go on the road again. This Moano is going on the road again. It's got some resonant frequencies, my friend. This Moano is hitting the road again. Because it has that weird ring to it. Every singing test is going to be on the road again with some chopped up lyrics. Who knows what you'll get. On the road again. 
Why can't wait to get the rubber on the road again? When I say rubber, that is just not what she said. I really meant it as far as road. Head. Ha ha ha. I'm ridiculous. Anyways, the Moano, the kit, it came close. It came close to being a great buy. So close. It does not sound bad, but that, it just, God, secure mics. If you can handle that resonant noise with this sound with the price, 65 bucks, have at it. But it was so close to getting the green light at that price for me. So close. Maybe that just won't come through the recording. Maybe it's just a headphone thing, but I doubt it. Moano is a great try. You're close. Get a different body for this mic that doesn't produce that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Dinner time. Dinner time. Secure mics time. Peace out.